Hi everyone. In today's video, we'll be covering the new integration between LPL and YCharts. We'll cover how to get started in activating the integration, as well as how to use it to import portfolios into YCharts. To get started, we can head to our integrations page, first by hovering over the support dropdown at the top of the screen, and then selecting integrations here on the left. This will lead us to our integrations landing page, where we can view all the different integrations that YCharts has to offer. And scrolling to the bottom, here we'll find LPL. So I'll go ahead and select on this toggle on the right-hand side of the screen, and this will open a pop-up window instructing us on how to activate the integration. To do so, we'll need to fill out the F688 form. You can download it through the link here. And once you have that filled out, you can re-upload it either by dragging and dropping or clicking in this blue square here to browse for that file. Once that happens, that will automatically be sent on your behalf for approval. That process typically takes two to three days to complete. And once that happens, you will automatically be activated and you will get a notification that you are ready to start using the integration. So jumping over to our test account here, scrolling to the bottom, I can see that the integration has been activated. The green check mark here letting me know that I am ready to start using the integration. To do so, I can head to our portfolios tool, first by hovering over the tools dropdown at the top of the screen and then selecting portfolios. Again, this will lead us to our portfolios tool. And here in the top right, we will find the import holdings dropdown. So I will go ahead and select that and select LPL. And this will prompt me to search for the account that I am looking to import. So I'll go ahead and search and select the account and then select the import button here in the bottom right. This will lead us to our portfolio editor where I can continue to edit some of the settings for this portfolio. I can edit the rebalance frequency for this portfolio, or I can add an advisory fee, edit the name or description. I can also scroll to the bottom to view those holdings that we have imported as well. But once I'm all set, I can go ahead and select save in the top right here to kick off the calculations for this portfolio. Once that's finished, I can then click on the name to open up the quote page for this portfolio. And here's where I can start to view some of the great data that White Charts has to offer. So I can find performance information, asset allocation, top holdings, risk, and much more. I can also click through the different tabs listed up top here for a more in-depth view in some of these different areas. Or I could also start generating some reports, including this portfolio as well. That'll conclude today's video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to your white chart support contact. Thanks.